Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Angband 4.1.3. I'm going to double check that I'm recording. I always get paranoid. I always am. But because it's not like my normal uh, window where I can see that I'm recording while I'm recording, I get freaked out. File open. Sir Gorston. All right, I got time for one last. I, I, technically, I probably have time for two more videos, but I'm, I'm going to try and hold myself to one. For one thing, who the hell is going to beat the euphoria of killing St. Nicholas in-game on Christmas Eve. I mean, that should be the end point for my December 24th play, just to be like, holy fuck. But, um... I'm not going to stop playing right now. Because I do have time to kill. And I'm like, what else am I going to do? Woo! So it's 2.30, I'm going to stop around 3. 3, 3.02, somewhere in there. Okay, and then I've got to finish getting ready. Although I've got 99% of my workload done in terms of uh, prepping to leave town. Most of that incidentally revolves around the cats, like making sure that they have everything that they could possibly need, because they're going to be alone for, not for long, for like 48 hours, but I'm sure they're fine, but I feel the utmost guilt and fear uh, of them being unhappy. What is that to my left? What am I looking at? Um, f slime molds. Why not pick it up? Eat C. Eat C. Eat C. Full. Drop C. All of it. Drop it all. Drop it all, goddammit. Alright. I just wait. Ooh, a fucking white dragon wrath bat. Is it evil? Yes, it's evil, which means we do extra damage to it uh, because of our slay evil dagger, which makes a lot shorter work of this than we did before. It breathes frost. I don't think it broke anything. Whoa, did it flee? Fled. Where'd that sound of a Oh, there it is. Oh. There's another dragon. Where'd the white one go? There we got it. Here comes a blue one. Blue ones can break like rings and wands and stuff with the lightning. They breathe lightning. Based on the D D lore, of course. But because it's evil, we'll make short work of it. And we're going to get, uh, well, only 20 experience points, I guess. Not that much, but whatever. Hmm. Your soft leather armor glows. That may have, uh... Oh, you've learned the rune of resist lightning. There you go. That's what my question marks were. That's pretty cool. All right. Giant white ant line. Oh, for Christ's sake. Giant white ant, pardon me. Okay. Well, we're doing fine, guys. That was a bit of a bit of a fear festival, but we got through it. And we barely took any damage. I don't think we... Looking through here, the only thing that happened was our, we learned we learned about our item. And that's great. Let's look at that. So we're wearing soft leather armor of resist lightning. 8 plus 5. That's great. Also evil, zombified kobold. All undead are evil, to the best of my knowledge. So we've got no point where we're killing baby dragons with casual ease and grace. Feels like this is going nice and fast. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the uh, either this is as fast as it went before in like Moria, or it's uh, going faster because uh, partially because we know the game better than we knew Moria when we started. What is this guy? The gnome mage tries to cast a spell but fails. Gnomish mage. What for the record does H stand for? It's a hobbit elf or dwarf. Okay, maybe humanoid. Panther. Something mutters, something mumbles. Darkness surrounds you. You can't put darkness around me because of my uh, my lantern of true seeing. You can't blind me. Got a new new scroll. Let's get that. Fuck, things are. They're trying to get me in the darkness. It's not going to happen. But my health is dropping. Let's rest. If you're wondering why I didn't ask for a direction on the close, even though I was next to two doors, it's because the one to the north is broken and we can't close it. I'm just going to rest here as much as long, until, until I can. Okay, we're back. That was a little bit dangerous. Let's get this money. Oh, on the ground, an amulet of resist lightning. Okay. 
let's get it. Uh, we can always put it in our in our home in case later on. We don't need that. Uh, in case later on, we're at a stage. Oh, son of a bitch, where we want to take off this particular armor. And uh, we need another resist lightning source. Dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. I'm telling you, that's the fucking bad horse song. Opening note from. Is that a giant? That is. That's a giant salamander. I don't like them. Oh, I forgot we're using the uh, sling now. We killed it with one hit. Welcome to level 17. Nice. We can gain a new spell. Something else I have to check out. Um, what was it? Um, what, oh, because of our lantern of true seeing, we can see this ghost coming at us. What is it precisely? A moaning spirit. I think those are terrifying. Um, it says nothing is known about its attack, but that's what hit us earlier and drained our wisdom. So let's, I think, let's... F uh, can we aim any kind of wand at it? No. Nickel plate of wand, as far as I know, won't work. Um, we'll use a, an identify on that in a minute. Let's hit it with... Uh, let's try Z. Rod of light. It doesn't appear to have done much to it. What do we see there? That is a... Uh, words of wisdom. Let's get a second one of those. Put it in the home... In the home. All right, we killed him. Ring of protection plus 11. Let's grab that. Let's grab this back. Let's wield P in favor of D. So a better ring of protection. We can drop the other one as soon as we need to drop something. Nice. Salamander dies pretty casually with this thing. What do we hit? Giant white centipede. Didn't even see it. Fuck, I'm trying to kill these lice. Oh, with this shit pouring in, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Now's when you want a, um, a wand of stinking cloud, you know? I don't know if we'll be able to kill these guys in time. Probably not. And without a, a, a mass spell, like a spell that will uh, let me kill them all simultaneously. I do have a, a, a teak staff. Let's see what that does. Let's U for use. Oops, that's U for use. The teak staff. Let's find out what it does. Maybe it'll kill a bunch of them. You feel much better. Okay, some sort of a uh, healing thing. Let's get out of here, and let's try and find a, uh, a zap with a rod of light south. There's no way we're going to ever take this back. This is not doable. We need to get a, a wall. Fuck. I mean, they're not really a threat, per se, but there's no... Uh, there's no defeating them. Did we kill the blue thing or did it run away? We destroyed the blues. I mean, we're only like one hit point down. They're barely hurting us, but we could stand here all day and do this and not put a dent in them. I do want to get back my stones, if that's what those are. Those are 11 bolts of slay animal. Let's take them. Get. So I try to fucking go through. I could, I could teleport away. But I'm just going to try to get to that door. That one we picked up automatically. It was just iron shots. Um... The first time I ever played Angband, 
I turn this down on my ears a bit. I feel like I'm yelling over these monsters. It won't affect you in any way. I don't know which... I never know which one of these dials is volume. That might have been it. No, that's not it. There we go, I got it. It's the bottom dial of two. Alright, um, the first time I ever played Angband... I, I still have that game going. I think I mentioned I have a warrior going somewhere. Oops, not O. Close. Alright. They're sealed up from this region. Um... I mean, the character survived this encounter, but he encountered... I remember the first time I encountered Hummer Horns, which are kind of like lice in that they, they regenerate themselves, but they also confuse you with every hit. Or something like that. Um, so he very nearly died to them, and my god, was I relieved to escape. Jesus. You do have to be careful about those replicator guys, because they can come back to hurt you. What is that? Some sort of spider. Giant white tick. Can we hit him from this distance? Uh, out of range by two squares. I'm curious, too. Um, let's just look at our equipment, and we'll look directly at the uh, Slinging of Extra Might. I can tell you a range. Maybe all weapons have the same range. I wondered if, like, a long... Let's try eye for inspect. Nothing I can see about it. I was wondering if... Uh, if a longbow had a greater range, you know? Alright, we killed it. I mean, do we need a second one? No. That we can use. Let's drop one of the rods of treasure location. We just don't need it. One. Eh, I'll, I'll carry it for now and put it in my house so I have a backup in case the one gets broken. On that note... I don't need that. Let's use another one of these. Okay. Got to remember to do that on a regular basis because it costs us nothing, and yet it will put stuff on the board that will help us. We needed our money last time, didn't we? We used almost all of it to get our stuff. So, money is a good thing. Don't need that. A werewolf. Ooh. Got to be a little careful here. Can't just like hit randomly. This thing could, could hurt us bad. It's only half hurt. Let's quaff right now. A potion of cure serious wounds. Let's fire our sling for this attack. What is that, a winter wolf or something like that? What's the other thing? White wolf. Again, having played, uh, having, having been in the middle, I killed that werewolf. Of a Far Cry Primal game, when I see white wolf, uh, makes me think of my first animal companion in that game. It's a good game. I've enjoyed it. All right, we'll take it. Let's uh, let's go here. Let's close and let's rest. Why do we close in case something wanders up there? Um, it gives us a little bit of extra time before it can attack us. Some monsters can't open doors as well, so wield two, wield one. Where's that white wolf? I didn't even see. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> there it is. Alright. Definitely tougher monsters here, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, unless we try and deal with these. Then we're going to regret all of life. I wish we could shut that door. We can't. It's a problem with things like Lice and that. They, they take over a section of the map, and they, it's theirs. They hold it. You know, There's not much you can do to... Get back. We should shut this door. Oh, fuck. So that they don't do that. Close. It won't help because they can get through that corner. Fuck. Oh, we hit, we hit an alarm. Horn blast sounds. They should have a sound effect for that. I mean, if anything in this game deserves a sound effect, it's that. Fucking lice. Let's close. What is that? 
Did you have to take that drop? Rune is summoning. It's not stuck hmm. on that right now. No longer full. <laughs> Scroll of light we don't need. All right. Close. Not that it helps. <laughs> we gotta go back through that region if we want to get if we want to stay on this level. We gotta go back to this region. There's no point in trying to kill the ones behind me. We're not trying to clear this area out. That would be impossible. We're just trying to get some distance going. Oh, if only this door wasn't broken. Open that. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, might as well explore it. Right, got it. Oh, big ass dragon. Or tiny dragon, I guess. Far from big ass, but tiny dragon. Ration of food. Let's get it. Let's eat it full again. What is that to my right? A shrieker mushroom. Let's kill it. Bunch of orcs and a gold dragon. Again, if we had a... How am I going to handle this? If we had a mass... Maybe I shouldn't have blown off all the stink bomb things. Stink bombs! If we had a spell that could affect multiples at once, now would be the time. Oh, fuck, the spotted jelly damaged my iron helm. See that? Covered in acid. Whatever it is, it, use, it, it has acid. Hopefully we can get them to come down without alerting the dragon. The dragon's moving, let's move. Fuck. It breathes sound. You've been stunned. Kill the snag in the process. Still breathing sound. I was talking earlier about you know why you'd want to adjust the delay. Like you saw that animation of that sound coming down. That might be too fast on some machines or for some people. No longer stunned. Potion of slowness. I'll take it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. So that sucks, eh? If we look at our, our, our helmet now, it's a 7 plus 4 instead of 7 plus 5. It damaged it with that, uh, that acid hit. Gotta be careful of that stuff. Ten minutes or so, and we'll call it quits for the next few days. Mahogany staff, let's take that. Oh, it was a secret door. I was about to try and tunnel through that. Don't need a wooden torch. Another secret door. There's a way to go deeper. We easily could. We can go down to level 12. Without a, we are on level 12. No, we can go down to level 13. Still adhering to my old tenet of trying to be four levels higher in character level than your dungeon depth. But, uh... We can, but we don't have to, so let's not do it yet. Let's 
definitely try and explore this level as best we can. Closes behind us just in case. Don't want those lice pouring through. If they if they find a way. What is that? What do we know about it? You kill at least two of the creatures. A strange growth on the dungeon floor. A green mold. Nothing's known about its attack. It resists light and poison. Let's hit it with sling bolts. If it can't move, let's kill it from a distance. Why would we approach it? Found a secret door. Whoa. I'm enveloped in flames. We took some damage, but I don't, it doesn't look like it burned up any of my stuff. That's good. Let's not mess with that. Won't try and disarm it or anything. Just curious if there's any secret doors we missed. You know, um, like I said, there were a lot of complaints about 4.1.3. There were things that I specifically thought I'm not going to like. I was very tempted to play the other version, but I think I'm on board with most of these changes. I think I'm liking it. What is it? That is a uh, giant black ant. It resists bright light for the record. Ring of the dog. Let's get it and try and remind ourselves what it is. We have no room. Whatever it is, we don't need it. We uh, well, Let's drop something for a second. Just for a second, I'll drop the pick. Just remember what it is. Minus two to stealth. Provides protection from fear. Drop T. I don't want it. Fear's not a big deal to us because of our uh, PAD spell, the spell that uh, removes fear. Might be called remove fear, I don't remember. Again, what do we have that we're still trying to... We haven't tried resist heat and cold yet successfully. I can't, that's why. We also haven't tried. Oh, that's way to win. Next combat, we're in where we're surrounded. We'll fucking sanctuary. What is that? We have an air spirit to our southwest, a baby gold dragon that's asleep, a giant red ant that's asleep, and a salamander that's asleep. This is not asleep. Let's see if it's fast. Oh, I killed it with one hit. Alright. Let's try it on the uh, rock. The, the reptile, pardon me. Attack. Let's try casting. Just because we can. Sanctuary. I don't have enough mana for that. What? No. Oh, because I, I must have done something recently. So you can cast a spell where your mana is insufficient. Um, you're basically petitioning the gods for aid. But, uh... A, it doesn't always work. And B, they... I think, at least in in Moria, you would lose a point of constitution when you did that, if, uh, if, if, uh, if you did that. Let's pick this up and see what it's like. Get. Let's examine it. Plus six, plus five. Average of 18.3 damage per round. Not good enough. It only does 1.1 blows per round. Not good enough for us. Uh, sorry, let's drop you. Pick back up our pick. Because, of course, with our current main gauche, we're doing an average of 20.2 per round. 26.4 versus evil creatures. And it weighs a lot less. So we'll stick with that. Thank you very much. Almost out of time here, but that appears to be the bulk of the level. Where is there a staircase down that we can use? Only way up there with the, uh... In lice territory. No point in closing doors anymore. We're getting off this level. I should have done this. Nothing. Let's go down. Alright, we got a few minutes, a few minutes only. Let's try using it right off the bat, can we? Oh, we have two of them. Of course we can. There we go. <laughs> Don't need two of them, but we have two of them. You 
You can safely use the period to fast walk because it will alert you if you run across a monster. Do not hold down a key to move, to move fast because you may not even notice. Oh, there wasn't much here to light up. You may not even notice that you're like, oh, fuck. Poltergeist. Trident. That little symbol meant there were multiple things there. That was gold and a trident. these uh, treasures really quick and then we'll call it a game even, possibly even before we succeed at that the dagger de thonk we're going to grab that in a second and a pearl ring it's cursed but at least we get to learn more about it acolyte dead let's get the money we have to take this killite wound staves we don't really need those we have the uh potions. Let's drop the Q. Both of them. Let's get the thonk. Do we have any more scrolls of identify crap? Yep. H. On the thonk. Hmm. You've learned the rune of lightning brand. Let's take a look at it. What do we know about the dagger de thonk? Plus 9, plus 12, bracket plus 10. All right. The fact that it's called Dethonk, that is a named, like it's a heroic ego, I guess it's called an ego weapon in this, like a unique weapon named Dethank, or maybe, Death, maybe Dethank, given that Orthank is a place in this world, pronounced that way. Um, does 2 to 4 damage, or pardon me, 2d4, so it does 2 to 8 damage, base. Plus 9 to hit, plus 12 damage, plus 10, I will, let's look up what that is. In this dagger is bound the very force of lightning, branded with lightning. Means I do lightning damage when I hit. Provides resistance to lightning, as does my armor currently, but still. When activated, oh, interesting. So you can also activate it to shoot out a lightning bolt. It creates a lightning bolt that always beams. Beam means it hits the first monster it comes in contact with, um, as opposed to a ball, which will hit and explode. And I think you can shoot a ball over enemies, so you can hit like a monster in the center of it to, to center your impact there. Beam, you can't center beyond the first enemy you can see in a line of sight, or that's in a way in a line of sight. It does 66 damage, that's great. Takes six to ten turns to recharge at your current speed. I get two blows per round with it. Holy fuck! Average damage per round: sixty-one versus creatures not resistant to lightning, and forty point six versus others. Yeah, I mean, it was nice we got that thing from Saint Nick, <laughs> but uh, this is pretty good. Let's also look at this, by the way. Control F. This place seems reasonably safe, yet there may be something worthwhile here. That's probably the thing we just found. Let's wield the dagger to thunk. Keep the other one and put it on. We gotta, we gotta inscribe it, don't we? Inscribe. T. Let's inscribe our old one with just. Let's just call it W or uh, old W one. Just so we don't accidentally switch into it when we're using our switch back and forth of one and two, because we're about to name. Oops. Okay. Now we're gonna. Shift and hit the curly Q. Inscribe E. No. Curly Q. Slash to go to equipment. Let's inscribe Dethonk. With at W1. Switch to our pick is wheel 2. Switch to our Dethonk is wheel 1. Yep. Got it. Let's make sure it worked. Do we want this thing? It's cursed in some way. Curl ring. Pearl, pearl ring. We don't have room for it. Let's drop the zinc wand for a second. Let's pick this up. Let's read and identify it. So we at least learn about what this uh, rune is. The rune of speed. You have a ring of teleportation, and it has a speed thing. Let's just look at it. We're not going to keep it. Q. It gives us plus two speed, so instead of being minus one slow, we'd be plus one fast. But um, but we'd also randomly teleport. I don't want that ring ultimately, but at least we learned what that, that rune is. Let's drop that ring. Q. We don't have a ring of remove curse, do we? 
even if we do it said that curse cannot be removed so it doesn't matter all right guys it's 302 that was a half hour that's very successful we found the the dagger de thonk gives me a nice title for uh this episode um but we're done as far as uh as far as the next few days go i'm gonna go finish getting ready to head on my Christmas holidays, um, again, this episode is coming out on, like, the 12th or 13th of January, but nonetheless, retroactively, happy holidays to you and yours, and, uh, I will personally see you after the holidays, and you will see me in the New Year's, so it's, like, fucking time travel, man, it's crazy shit. Alright, let's file, save, no, let's file exit, that automatically saves. There we are, we're doing alright, man, I'm pretty excited about this, it's going well, we're gonna win this game. Oh, the hubris. All right. See you later, guys.